there is this clip that I wanted to talk about featuring Bill Maher and actress Bella Thorne. So she's talking about her battle with anxiety, and apparently he's going to say something that is incredibly stupid, and he's basically going to be an anxiety truther uh, and denounce the mental health issues that younger people, more broadly speaking, experience. So let's watch. I mean, at this point, this is not surprising for Bill Maher, of all people, to say something this dense and insensitive, but nonetheless... Um, you know, we'll watch it anyway because uh, the way he says it's so smug and from his position of privilege, it makes the statement even that much more outrageous when you hear the way he says it. So I'll shut up and uh, we'll watch it. Into weed Stigma. because of like serious. Oh, this is beautiful. Stomach issues and anxiety and like crippling anxiety. Um, By the way, I don't know what the fuck he's looking at. He's like digging through this box. And I don't know what's going on, so I, I can't give you any context about that. Weed has really changed my life. and what, 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 is, what is it with you kids and anxiety? What, what is causing all the anxiety? Uh, I think I mean, everything. The world, the, the way the that world. the world you, you know, is you, now. What is it with all you kids and this anxiety? As if anxiety is like some new concept, right? We didn't hear about anxiety and still millennials started to have it. Except anxiety has always been around. And the difference is that we've really made a lot of strides to destigmatize mental health issues, right? Because it's absurd to think that, you know, my body can need medical attention. My arm could get broken and I go to a doctor. You know, I could have a pain in my leg and need medical attention. But if there is something with my brain that isn't functioning as it should be, well, that's not real. That's fake. So, I mean, it's not a new issue. We're just talking about it more, which is really good. Right. Because people are if they're aware of this, then that will increase the likelihood, hopefully, that they'll get help. I mean, my entire family on my mom's side has mental health issues. Anxiety has been passed down from generation to generation and to me. So it's not new. Older people experience anxiety, too. But the way he is just so like nonchalantly dismissing it as like a millennial problem shows how ignorant and privileged he is. The way the that world. the world you, you know, is now, it's, you know, constant, but you, just you, bad, you, bad, you, bad, 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 everywhere you down. look is so bad. I, you know what, for, uh, this, and it's I hard find to this find to be enjoyment a, in I, your natural day. I find this to be a disingenuous argument because your generation doesn't know what's going on in the world. So, so first and foremost, what a stupid thing to say. What a weird generalization. Millennials don't know what's going on. Gen Z doesn't know what's going on. I'd argue that they know more what's going on than Bill Maher's generation because by and large, older people are voting against their self-interest, whereas younger people are opting to support candidates like Bernie Sanders who actually support them, you know, canceling student debt, getting Medicare for all. So millennials are informed. You're the ones who are uninformed, hence why you supported Amy Klobuchar of all people in 2020, and now he's just a right-winger. So I don't know, maybe he'll support Trump in 2024. But to say that millennials are ignorant is just so stupid and wrong. How can you be that fucking concerned about what's going on in the world? I know what's going on in the world. I should have the anxiety. I know what's going on. Therefore, I'm the one who should worry. Uh, except, why do you think you're not concerned, given everything that's going on in the in the world, Bill Maher. What's the difference between you and 99.999% of millennials? You are a multimillionaire. You live in a mansion. You have more money than you'll ever be able to spend in your lifetime. Even if you were able to live to be a thousand years old, you're still not, not going to go through all of your money. So of course you're okay. Now that's not to say that if you're rich, you can't have anxiety and mental health issues, but just like using his logic here. It's like, oh, well, you have anxiety because of the state of the world. Well, I should have anxiety because of the state of the world, because I know what's going on, except um, you're rich. So the issues that affect working class people don't apply to you. And that's not how anxiety works anyway. Anxiety is a medical issue, right? These types of mental health issues, they don't just come up because of things. Sure, certain you know external factors can influence anxiety. But I mean, his whole logic here is bizarre. And he comes off as a mental health truther. He comes off as one of those boomers who say, oh, it's all in your head. Mental health issues, depression, just stop being depressed. Just be happy. Anxiety, just stop being anxious. Like that's how he sounds here. And it's ignorant. I follow it. You kids don't follow it. You don't know what the fuck's going on in the world. What are you upset about? What? What? Is I love how he just dismisses an entire generation. 
You don't even follow this, so you don't know what's going on. What a smug prick he is. I mean, the there's world definitely problem. things that we know what's going on. Maybe we don't know necessarily <laughs> always the full story, 100% of the full story. But, you know, I think we definitely, yeah. I don't yeah. know anything about Bella, but don't give him any, any room here. Push back against that. I mean, even if you aren't aware of the news cycle and what's happening politically, as a working class millennial, you can still feel how fucked the world is, how it's difficult to pay your rent, how you may not be able to ever pay off your student debt or purchase a home or purchase a car. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to be informed and follow the news religiously to feel the impact of this fucked up late stage capitalist hellscape that we're living through. But still for him to say this, I, I wish that she would have pushed back and, and said, yeah, we, we actually do pay attention. Um, we do know what's going on. Um, fuck you. <laughs> we we're we're seeing it we're hearing it and we're we're vocal about it and all these young kids growing up with about? this form of social media and media in general it's just it's like wow you know how long is it going to be before we're just used to it and it's it's not that bad anymore ridiculous just so so ridiculous as a millennial i feel this old fart doesn't know very much about what's going on okay you are a clintonite bro right exactly do you, re Bill, do you really know what's going on? I mean, it's he's so insufferable.